Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on Dimabs TV. So, Professor Oxman on Wednesday pushed back against pressure from Citizens Coalition for Change activists demanding that he speaks up on the team in the party, insisting that he had no platform to do so. Of course, yes, ladies and gentlemen, everyone now is wondering, or everyone is expecting the likes of uh, Oxman Nguwe, Tendai Biti, and Choton Wende to come up and speak or at least clear their names because they have been labeled as being implicated by a Sengezo Chavango. So people expected these people, the, these uh, top politicians of the opposition to come forward and at least deny Chavango's claims because Chavango is on record as claiming that he is working with them. but. There is also another activist who went to the extent of just saying, Don't worry, guys, give it time. And now I think that is the same instance. responses. They are aligned to what Sengezo Chavango has been uh, saying. So the Triple C is in disarray after August's election defeat and the PF and court assisted recalls of its elected representatives by Sengezo Chavangu who imposed himself as the interim secretary general taking advantage of a lack of defined roles in the opposition party. In the wake of Chavangu's recalls of over two dozen MPs and senators and over 60 councillors, the Triple C has introduced to the public a structure called the Citizens National Assembly as well is releasing a truncated uh, constitution that made the headlines because it had the name of Nelson Chamisa inside. So developments in the party of railed activists who are demanding that party leader Nelson Chamisa's former deputies in the MDC alliance which was abandoned to form the Triple C in January of 2022 must speak up and condemn Chavango publicly. So Ntuve and Tendai Biti have conspicuously been absent from the party's major political gatherings since the elections and Ntuve has now confirmed that they have been sidelined. Yes, according to these responses by Ntuve, you can, you can only see that what he is actually saying is that, guys, I don't have, in a, I, I don't have any position to either refute or acknowledge this crime. So when Triple C supporter Chris Chidarikiri confronted him on X over why he hadn't attended any CNA recently, which is the Citizens National Assembly, Nguwe fired back, am I a member of the Citizens National Assembly? If so, how did I become a member? So this one is a direct uh, attack. You can see, ladies and gentlemen, to the CNA to see how are those, those, how is everyone in the CNA a member? When Chidarikari revised this question to ask if the former industry minister was in the leadership of the Triple C, Nube appeared to suggest that he should be, but he was not because the party had unconstitutionally abandoned its structure under which he and BT were Chamisa's deputies. So I just want to read out the response by Wolfman Nube. And you may see, or you may just suppose what, what he is actually saying here with what Sengizu Chavangu has been saying and he has been on a rampage claiming. Nube said, as of January 22, 2022, I was vice president of MDC Alliance, which on that date, by resolution of its National Council, resolved to reconstitute itself as the Triple C and participate in the March 2022 by elections under that name. At that meeting, the National Council didn't resolve to dissolve itself. He was equally rasping when challenged to condemn Chavango. So this is the response of the Na 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 Welshman Nguwe. Ashitawara ye kutimuna January 2022. Dinda Vice President we MDC Alliance. And Takavata is over to work contesting. Just so like what Sengezo Chabangu is claiming, could we just used the Triple C name as a way to contest in the March 22 by elections? He is also refusing claims that the party or the National Council 
was abandoned or was dissolved he said he doesn't even know where if uh, the national council was dissolved because in the get this resolution so he goes on further to say when Togozan Kupe and Douglas Munzoro started recalling MDC Alliance MPs and councillors, did not did I not in my capacity as vice president of the MDC Alliance come out guns blazing right up to the end? In what capacity do you want me to insert myself now? So, ladies and gentlemen, what is telling here is that Nui acknowledges of being a MDC vice president then but actually he is saying he does not hold any post whatsoever in triple c and he does not have even the honors to either deny or accept all these claims and in what capacity do you want me to insert myself now so it's now an issue of inserting and those pins are puppy don't go pana pana puppy it's quite evident he is no longer of or he is nowhere near uh, the triple c and its leadership so chamisa has been accused of concentrating power on himself and collapsing the structures he had in mdc alliance leading to a fallout with some of the founders of the opposition movement which include uh, tendai bt and Nui. so people are saying nelson chamisa is uh, now becoming uh, or is now having dictatorial tendencies because he centered power all on himself and he even went to the extent of putting just or putting his name in the constitution to say the advo the change champion in chief advocate Nelson Chamisa Vartorimo constitution. So those things those no gonna witonge Zakatsa the likes of Anna Wolfman Nui whom also or who Yes, a history of abandoning the struggle. But you know, for my work, MDC he split from uh, Changirai. I can for my MDC. Tendai BT also split from Changirai. I can for my in the People's Democratic Party. So at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, it might just as well be an issue of positions. Which I want to say, I'm opposition. Varuda, my positions. Varuda, go jao. That is why some people. We have the guts to respect Nelson Jamisa because in the Ega as na history, he has always been uh, with the opposition party Kutanga Variku MDC na Changai since inception a number Buddha a number D may banga wonam dig but any history of the Anombo Buddha or Kenda Nivango the likes of Anna Jacob Bafume want to see canons wakatum brenda or nabiti and a whole lot of others wakaenda but no soja misa has always been in the opposition so these critics say this leadership for kim is what with the chabangu tibeko after the former mdct matibele north chairman imposed himself as the triple c interim secretary general and began writing letters to parliament and the local government minister recalling mps senators and councillors claiming they ceased to be members of the party the triple c is appealing those records but we just know the outcome so this is these are the responses of Oshman Nure am I a member of CNA if so how did I become a member that's one contribution the second one is as of January 22 2022 I was vice president of MDC Alliance which on that date by resolution of its National Council resolved to reconstitute itself as triple c and participate in the march 2022 by elections under that name at that meeting the national council didn't resolve to dissolve itself that's number two then number three the point that hoshman Nui makes is when tokozani kupe and douglas Munzora started recalling mdc alliance mps and councillors, did not did i not in my capacity is vice president of mdc alliance come out guns blazing right up to the end in what capacity do you want me to insert myself now so ladies and gentlemen it's official that welshman movie and obviously tendai bt are not part or are no longer part of the triple c as led by advocate Nelson chamisa they respect the fact that was brought forward by Sangezo Chabango to say 
the structures that were within the MDC should go to the triple C. And as such, it leaves a political impasse that only time can solve. Anuko Nikainim Faru Dinwini Honorable Mativa.